Okay, let's move on to the other food breakout now. So when uh, you get the device from Adafruit, it comes uh, in a couple of parts. So you've got the uh, PCB itself with the headers. You need to solder the headers onto the PCB and then you are ready to start uh, doing the, uh, the wiring with the Arduino. So let's talk a bit about the wiring now. The communication between the module and the Arduino uh, happens via hardware SPI. As long as your device uh, can use the SPI protocol, then you'll be able to connect this device to it. Let's have a look at the pins now. Uh, Power-wise, uh, you can provide 5 or 3.3 uh, volt power, and uh, the device contains uh, level shifters so that it can behave appropriately uh, regardless of the, the voltage that you provide to it. So if you give it 5 volts as input via the V-in uh, pin, then the device will adjust all of its outputs to also be 5 volts. If you give it 3.3 .3 volts in, then it will adjust all of its outputs to be at the 3.3 .3 volt level. So you could use this device uh, with um, a micro, for example, uh, a Pro Mini at 3.3 .3 volts. Um, then you connect the ground. There you go. Ground goes to ground. And uh, we've got the uh, SPI connections. So first of all, SCK, uh, where is it? There you go. This one here, SCK, this is the SPI clock. And for the Arduino Uno that goes to digital pin 13, this one right here. Uh, on the Mega, it's going to be a digital pin uh, 52. So check to find out the actual pin for your SPI clock on your device. Um, next one is MISO. So uh, this one here is MISO and on the Arduino Uno that goes to digital pin number 12. Next up, we've got MOSI on the Arduino Uno. So here's MOSI and on the Arduino Uno that is uh, digital pin 11. This one here, digital pin 11. Um, next up is REQ REC which behaves like a chip select pin. So there's REC here. Now chip select, um, you can choose uh, where you'd like to, to have that connected. So in the example that we've got here that goes to digital pin number 10, but you can configure that from within your sketch. You can always change it. Uh, next up, we've got the reset pin this one here again that is uh, configurable we connect it uh, for this demo to digital pin number nine on my arduino uno uh, so with the reset pin we use it to reset the board when we are starting up our sketch so that it goes to a, a known um, state finally we've got our device stands for ready so there you go this one here that is the uh, interrupt pin and you need to connect it to one of your Arduino's interrupt pins uh, one or two that is on the Arduino Uno. So um, you, you can change it from one or two uh, and if your device like if you're on a mega you can choose one of the other interrupt pins again that is configurable uh, from the sketch in the setup method. The ACT pin, this one here, is not connected, so the um, the version of the drivers that other food ships at, at this time doesn't support this uh, pin, so we'll just leave it unconnected. They might support it later. So with the connections done, let's go ahead and uh, test it out. We'll be doing some communication between uh, the Arduino via BLE and my phone. <laughs> 